and you're not in any creative process at all. I would never tell anybody to outline your story, except there's two exceptions. Creativity is a process, not a... Prescription for product. Okay. Yeah, I don't say, you know, here's the finished product, let's work to make the product. And a product has this, it has that, it has this, it has that. That's what most writing classes do. Uh, matter of fact, that's what most literary criticism in the 19th century did. And in the 20th century, literary criticism even shifted to what are, what are the techniques or the devices that the author used, not what is his life about and the Freudian implications and the social milieu of the time, but what are the devices that the artist used to make that product? Well, I kind of go further back and go, the devices are something that we write in, in the process toward product, but we don't aim for the finished product. We don't know where we're going to go. The creative work is about the process, working on the concepts, the exercises, not on a prescription for a finished product. So the concepts I teach in method writing are not the end product. They are the process impulse. So all the concepts I teach, not just in level one and two that we kind of talked about, but in level three, four, and five, and then the levels beyond. I have a whole bunch of levels. Um, it's, it's about the process. I'm always wanting the artist to honor the process, the way you work, not what you're aiming for, but just let the truth of the impulse of your process find its way. And then when you finally get your novel or your story or your poem, you won't have headed there. And my analogy in sports is in golf, you don't aim, you don't aim to get the ball in the hole. You hit the ball correctly. You get the right club and you swing correctly. And if you do that, it'll go where it's supposed to go. But you don't aim to put it in the hole. So you, you go through your process and let the end result take care of itself. So that's what I mean when I say the creativity is about the process. Matter of fact, isn't that the term they use? They say the creative process. So if you come from the process, the product will emerge and it will always surprise you. It will be unexpected. You didn't expect to be stuck. We started out with, um, uh, I'm really thinking about da-da-da. And by the time we got through going through some of the techniques of the other side of the coin and, and other things I didn't bring up, you end up being stuck in writing about that subject that you didn't expect to write about. So that's what I mean by it's not a prescription for product. It's a, it's a process. Do you Does that make sense? It does. Do you see a lot of writers that come in with the product mindset? Everybody. Every, you think everybody starts out that sure, way? Sure, we're all human. We all have you know, ideas, things we want to do. Um, most people have some kind of idea what they want to write about. And they're always surprised that um, in some way they did do it, but they took a route they didn't expect. And if they had gone straight for it, it wouldn't have been what it ended up being. And that the, you know, the unexpected path there was what makes it interesting, not where they got. Why is it important to outline the story before you start writing it? It's not important. I would never suggest anybody do that. That's exactly what I just finished talking about. That's where you're, you're looking at your product and, and you know, fitting your feet into the shoes of the right size. And you're not in any creative process at all. I would never tell anybody to outline your story, except there's two exceptions. You would make an outline of your story if you're being paid. And this is the other component, because if you're just being paid and this other component isn't there, then it doesn't apply. You're being paid and there's a deadline tomorrow or at the end of the week. Well, 
Okay, they're paying me. They want me to write a story about ballistic missiles. Okay, I'll do the best I can with my talent. I'll outline what I need to do, blah, blah, blah. I'll get it done in a week and I'll make $5,000. But if they're not paying me and there's no deadline, why would I go with an outline for the product when the creative process is much richer and holds so many unexpected marvels? That's what I want to bet on. I want to bet on that horse, the unexpected marvel that will come from the unknown and the unexpected of the creative process. Why would I do, if no one's paying me and there's no deadline, why would I purposefully sabotage my genius, which doesn't come out all the time anyway, if ever? I'm not gonna make an outline because then I'm bound by the outline. So you don't need to know where you're going when, you, when you're writing a story? It's not about needing to know. You are better off if you don't know. If you know, you're probably going to be in trouble. It's like love. I'm not going to fill that blank Tell in, me. But... I want to hear it. <laughs> if you have a card, uh -huh. and every time with your date, you keep looking at the card, oh, wait, say something funny, okay? You know, it's, it's got a list of things you should do that will make your date want you. <laughs> I mean, that's ridiculous. You have to be in the moment, and you have to just be there. Be in the moment. See what happens. Love always happens when you don't expect it to happen, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, so you don't think blind dates work? You what? You don't think blind dates work? If they're kept blind, if you are open, as a matter of fact, I'm saying the opposite. I'm saying blind dates can work. Mm -hmm. uh, listen to the stories that people tell of how they met. You know, people who've been together for three, four, five years at least. I say, you know, I never expected it. He was my uncle's uh, a neighbor, and it was a wedding, and he was there, and and he's not anything like the person I thought I would fall in love with. I thought it was going to be this, this, and that, and I don't know, just something happened, and the next thing you know, we got five kids. You, you can't, um, oh, there's a, is it the Supreme? You can't something about love. What is it? It's you can't hurry love? Can't what? You can't hurry love? You can't you just hurry have love. To you wait. can't hurry yeah. love, okay. yeah. So, sorry, yeah. you don't want me to sing. Yeah. No. No, you don't want me to sing it. <laughs> you, I would be happy to hear you okay, sing it. Okay, all right. But people, we can we can put a link to the video for the song. Yeah, no, you know, if something is going to be written, written, it's going to be written. Don't be afraid. Yeah, you got that story about you, when you went fishing with your father. It'll, it'll come through. Don't, don't worry about it. Go with the unknown. And it'll come in when you least expect it. But go with the unknown. That's the creative process. Unless someone's paying you right. and there's a deadline, well, you know, you're, you're, not, you're not stupid. Someone's going to give me money to write about ballistic missiles. Okay, I'll do it. But otherwise, I'm going to go with the unknown. So what about the people that say you must have a roadmap for where you're going? If not, your story will not turn out. And I got a uranium mine that you must invest in. Uh, it's somewhere out in Nevada. You give me $10,000 of your hard-earned money, and I'll make you a million. What, what would you say to that? Can I go visit the mine? I would say... Well, you take me on a tour. I would shut the door. <laughs> so the same is true for the story. You, I don't worry about it. It'll come through. And anyone who says you must know your story, you must, if you want to put your money in a uranium mine, that's, that's your business. But, you know, it's not what I teach. So I'm not saying my way is the only way, but it's what I teach.